Hello everyone. In this part, we are going to handle mouse press events in Qt so that we can use it to draw polygons in the scanline assignment, which will be covered in the next part. So the first step is to declare a method that would deliver us some object and the that object corresponds to a Q mouse event. And from that object, we'll extract the x and the y coordinates of the clip that will be performed on the screen. So we can first declare the method and use void mouse press event. And we need some object which can store those two coordinates. So we'll use q mouse event, which is a pointer whose pointer will be passed as a parameter. We need to include this class alongside. So we have now declared the method. Our next step is to create a corresponding definition in the source file. So I'll open main window.cpp and create a declare definition here okay so whenever a click is performed on the screen qt will internally call this method in the source code along with this object and qt will sort of pack the x and the y coordinates of the click if i am clicking on the coordinate 100 comma 100 both those both of those coordinates will be packed in one object and that packet will be delivered through this event through the mouse event so we'll now extract those coordinates out of this event by using event is a pointer so i'll use the arrow operator to access the member function named position and from that I'll access x similarly we can extract the y coordinate so our next task is to create a polygon with mouse clicks so uh, if we are clicking three times we expect we we expect to draw a triangle on the screen and similarly a rectangle if four points are clicked so in order to draw any polygon we first need to store the x coordinates and the y coordinates of all the vertices that were clicked by the user so we'll first create two integer arrays here I will call them vertices x, the x coordinate of the vertices, and we will give it some initial use size. So we are never going to draw a 50 sided polygon, so you can consider that as, as an upper limit. And similarly, I can say vertices y to store the y coordinates, and I'll also need a pointer not as in a pointer that stores at this, but an index pointer that would uh, that would represent the position in both these arrays so that we can insert new values of vertex of the x and the y coordinates. So if vertex index equals one, then I would append new values or I will access and modify elements at index 1 in both these arrays we'll get to that in a minute okay. so whenever the first click is performed or when the first vertex is clicked by the user we wish to store it in the array at index 0 so and also we are not going to draw any sides of the polygon because only the first point is selected now. 
so we will use we'll actually need a condition here so num so vertex so if the index is zero initially that is no points are stored in those arrays we will first store them so i will write vertex vertices x at vertex index which is zero so we can even directly write zero here first x and vertices equals five but if in the other case if the point which was clicked that is the vertex that was just clicked is not the first vertex then we have to join the previous vertex and the current vertex to draw to show a, a side of the polygon so we will make an else branch here again the first step would be to store the points this part of the code remains intact I can write vertex and else file but now I need to draw a side or an edge of the polygon so I will call draw line DDO the method that we have created in the first part of the series and I'll supply four coordinates here so the first point would be the so first I'll access the previous point here which is vertices x x index minus one similarly vertices y vertex index minus 1 so these were the coordinates of the previous point that was selected by the user so if i have currently selected the second point these coordinates represent the first point in the array and hence you can observe a minus 1 here shift in the index so this was the first point of the edge the second point that will select is the current point so we can directly enter x and y here so if, if i am drawing a triangle and i have currently selected the third vertex this would be the second vertex and this would be the third vertex and also i need to increment vertex index each time As we are drawing lines now on the canvas, we also need to insert that canvas into the frame. So I would use the following line of code that we have used in the first and the second part of the frame. So write my frame set pigs map. So after drawing everything on the on the queue image, we can finally insert it into the queue label with this line. So we can now run our code and check if our, if you are able to draw a polygon. So I'll first select a point here, and the screen becomes black because the the buffer that holds the color for q label gets resetted it's now we select the second point you can see that an edge was drawn here because the code now moved into the second branch the else branch and it will never go into this branch again because vertex index will never be zero again so currently vertex index is one 
now I select another point similarly I can select multiple points less than 50 because of our array size so now we need some code that would terminate the creation of this polygon so as of now there is no way to uh, enclose this polygon here even if you try to click precisely here the sides won't match we could even miss the positions by one so as as far as our assignments are concerned we are using a right click to finish the creation of a polygon so we need to detect a right click here in this code so we can use we'll create an if statement here if event button equals qt and we can say right button so this loop this uh, statement is only true when a right click is performed with the mouse so whenever this statement is reached here we wish to terminate our polygon so when we are terminating our polygon the final vertex that is stored in vertex vertices x and vertices y would be the same as the first point so we would simply insert those values again into the polygon into the array so be the same as vertices x of 0 indicating the first point the x coordinate of the first point and similarly for the y coordinate also we will draw a line that would go from the current point meaning x comma y and the first point and only in that case will our polygon enclose so we will draw a line from minus 1 and then the y coordinate And the initial point, the first point of the polygon. So uh, vertices is x zero vertices y zero. And we would also move this part of the code in the else branch. So this code will be invoked on a right click. Left click. So we can now test our code. So the first point, second, third, and the fourth point. And now I'll perform a right click to complete the polygon. So, uh, I'll summarize this part of the code once again, as I think it could be confusing sometimes. So basically, uh, in order to draw a polygon, we are storing the x coordinates of all the vertices and the y coordinates in two separate integer arrays 
which are vertices x and vertices y. 50 does not matter here, you can even choose 100 or even 150. But we need to make sure that the number of vertices do not exceed this number. The third component that we need is a vertex index. So when I'm when I'm drawing a polygon, I need some index where I would append the x and the y coordinates into these areas. So that pointer would basically it would show me where I have to insert the new values. If if I am if I have selected the second vertex, I wish to insert the new values of x and y into the first index of vertices x and into the first position of vertices y. So that position indicator will be vertex index. So here in our code we have two branches. One when a right click is pressed and the second when a left click is pressed. So whenever so a left click is performed to choose a vertex of the polygon. So whenever I click on the screen, that point will be considered as a vertex of the polygon. In this code, if no vertex is selected currently, that is the vertex index is at zero and the arrays contain no vertex information, I would simply insert that information into the array. X and Y are the points where the click was where the click was initiated by the user. And if my array contains more than one point, then I can obviously draw an edge to the polygon. So that so we can call DDA here, which takes coordinates of two points. The previous point, which is positioned at vertex index minus one, and the current point, which is represented by x and y. And I'll increment vertex index so that the next point which which will be inserted when the next click is performed. And similarly, if a right click is performed, I wish to complete or enclose the polygon. So in that case, I'll reinsert the first the x coordinate of the first vertex into this area. And similarly, I'll draw a final line that would enclose my polygon. On running our code, we can see. So on the first click, nothing happens. But on the second click, a line happens as the code, as the flow of execution moves here in this part of the code. Similarly, we can choose as many points as we need and then right click to complete. So if, I, if we can count 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So the fifth vertex and the zeroth vertex are joined with this line. So I hope this video was informative and you got to learn something new. In the next part, we'll have a review of the scanline algorithm. Using this similar code, we'll, we'll extend this code and write the scanful algorithm. Thank you.